Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a snail mail flip book. Now I really like the outcome of this because I've recently organized all of my scrap papers and I fell kind of into a groove of my style that I used to like doing. So it's kind of just a mix of colors and patterns that I really like. There's not really a theme to this one. It's just going through all of my scrap papers and stationery that I've received in my PO box and kind of piecing it all together. So I'm not actually going to be giving a step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to have a different chat with you guys today. So if you do want to know any of the dimensions or anything like that, um, I can create a blog post for you guys here on Patreon. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about friends. Now I don't mean Friends the TV show, although I absolutely love that TV show and they've recently had a reunion and I watched it and it was emotional and it was hilarious and if you're a Friends fan, please just give this video a love heart <laughs> um, because yeah, I adore Friends. But not just that, I actually wanted to chat with you guys about friends and friendships in general because it seems to be something that's been coming up in my life a lot. So not only has this been a reoccurring theme because of the TV show and the, re, um, the reunion that's recently happened, but I've been having conversation with a lot of my friends and they've been telling me all of these stories and different situations where they've been in um, places where they've been going through like mental health issues or um, other situations where they feel like friends and finding new friends has been something that's been difficult for them. So I'm going to give you a few different situations. So I've been talking to one person about transitioning from high school friends into um, friends that they really want to um, like connect on on a different level. So finding people who are part of their tribe. And we've spoken about this on my channel. And when we do Zoom calls, it's really interesting to know that when we talk to each other, there's this sense of like creativity and fun and um, loving the one thing that has kind of brought us closer and we always say like if we we're in the same town this would be amazing to meet up monthly and just chat about craft and um, stationery <laughs> and all that fun stuff. Um, so the friend I was talking about who has recently transitioned or is transitioning from high school friends is now trying to find a tribe that suits their um, their personality and the things that they like. Different stages of life can pull you in and out of friendship groups. I know that this has happened to me so many times. I've transitioned from so many different universities, different states, um, different workplaces, and you seem to gain new friends and lose new friends depending on what's going on throughout your life. 
So it's really interesting to hear this topic come up again and again of how difficult it is to actually make friends as adults. I stumbled across a TikTok and it went viral and it was about a guy explaining how to make friends as an adult and it went viral because so many people related and it was a topic that not a lot of people wanted to talk about. It's so odd to think that friends and making friends is a topic that people have either shame about or it's something that you think that it's childish to not know because we don't really talk about adult friends as much um, because it's something that children find it so easy to do and adults it's very difficult so it's really odd to think that um, it's kind of a controversial topic to talk about making friends. Now I don't know if you guys are at the stage of life where you either have a really strong support network around you of people that you can reach out for different situations or if you're someone who's transitioning from one group of friends to another depending on if you're um, changing workplaces or study or whatever it is um, or if you're someone who's still trying to find friends or you're someone who wants to leave a group that may not align with what your personality or interests are at the moment. Um, so I did want to bring this conversation up because I thought it would be an interesting chat to have with you guys. I don't know if it's one that you need now or if it's one that you might look back on or if it's one just to keep in the back of the mind if you find someone who may be looking for friends and you could be that person to reach out. So I wanted to put that out there <laughs> um, and there are multiple people in my life at the moment who have been having these conversations with me and you might even just need to be that person to listen and say, yeah, I, I completely understand. So that's all I really wanted to share today. I just wanted to let you guys know that, yeah, this has been a reoccurring um, topic in my life lately and I just wanted to put it out there. Maybe one of you needed to hear it or maybe you needed to be on the lookout for someone else who needed to hear it and pass along this conversation with someone else. And if you wanted to share your own story or give advice in the comments, I may even post it publicly in um, like a blog post or something. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought. I hoped you liked watching me make this snail mail tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. I've got a really fun camping vlog to show you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.